Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about the 7,000 mile update on my 2018 Crosstrek. So I hit 7,000 miles uh, about two weeks ago. I'm actually at 7,300 miles right now. Sorry for being a little bit late with this one, but I wanted to kind of continue the tradition of doing an update every 1,000 miles just to give you a heads up on how things are going. Um, this time around, I actually do have some things to talk about that are related to the car. Um, and I wrote some topics down just so I wouldn't forget. But as usual, we are going to talk about CarPlay. Um, there is a new head unit update, dealer only update out. And thank you, Edward, for giving me the heads up on that. So we'll talk about the head unit update. Um, I had my second service, which is the 12,000 mile service. I want to talk about how I know that the uh, Subaru key fob for the Limited is waterproof. That's quite a story. And I'm also going to talk to you about my old wheels and tires. So let's get into this video and thank you guys as always for watching. So overall, as far as um, maintenance problems or uh, rattles or anything of that nature, the car is still doing great. My CVT is good. My gas mileage continues to be very good. It's a little bit less over the summer than it was during the winter months, but I'm sure that has to do with the AC. And we talked a little bit about that last time. Overall, still very, very happy with the car. I have, I have no new complaints about anything that's going on. Everything seems to be working as it's supposed to. Um, other than about six weeks ago, I started having some CarPlay issues again. And if you've been here from the beginning, from the really from the first day I got the car, CarPlay was very intermittent for me. Um, at around 3,000 miles, I had the first dealer only head unit update, which was uh, 17.43.20. Once they installed that, that took care of my head unit issues um, all the way up until about six weeks ago. About six weeks ago, for some reason, I have no idea why, CarPlay just stopped working when I when I would plug it in. Before, plug it in, boom, within you know 10, 15 seconds, CarPlay would turn on. And about six weeks ago, I got in the car, plugged it in and out about three or four times, still wouldn't work, unlocked my phone, and then it booted CarPlay up. So ever since then, I've had to unlock my phone every time after plugging it in to get CarPlay to work. And it's never been the case before. That was something that new that just happened. I have no idea what changed. Not a huge deal, just kind of weird how it changed all of a sudden. And I have to say CarPlay is really kind of one of my favorite options that came with the 18 Subaru. I really like it for maps and text messages and, and working the head unit and stuff. That has all been fixed again with the latest head unit update, which is 18.22.20. And all that information will be down below um, if you don't want to write it down now. I don't know exactly what is in this head unit specifically, but I can tell you that my CarPlay issue is fixed again. No idea why, what's changed, maybe something else changed on my phone that I don't know about, but um, it's working now, so I'm very happy about that. If you do go to the dealership for scheduled maintenance, make sure you tell them that you want the head unit update because the service advisors don't always know that there is one. And in fact, um, the gal I had yesterday, I had to prompt her because she wasn't had no idea that uh, one was available. So that brings us to the fact that I had the second service, which is uh, the 12,000 mile service. And it includes a cabin air filter, multi-point inspection, tire rotation, and an oil and filter change. Pretty basic uh, scheduled maintenance. Um, the reason that they did the 12,000 is just because my car is basically one year old and it's been about six months since I had my oil change. So Subaru says one year, or I'm sorry, six months or 6,000 miles to get your oil change. So they just changed it, which is cool. I did want to share some numbers with you, the tire tread depth, as well as the brake pads, just to give you an idea. Um, I've had a lot of questions about the method race wheels and how they affect things. So um, for those of you who get the 12,000 mile service, you can compare your uh, brake pads and maybe even your tire uh, tread depth um, to what mine are. The driver's side rear and the passenger side rear brake pads are at eight millimeters. And the driver's side front and the passenger side front are at 10 millimeters. I do not know exactly where those brake pads start, but I can tell you that they say less than three millimeters, they need to be changed. Um, three to five is, you know, keep an eye on them. And then over five millimeters is in the green. So all good to go. Tire tread or the tread level right now is 14, 30 seconds all the way around. And again, I'm not hundred percent sure what the tread depth was when the tire started, but 
looking at them, you can't tell if they've worn at all, so they're, they're still doing fine. But I just wanted to give you those numbers so that you can compare them to your Crosstrek as well. That takes us to my story about my Subaru Limited key fob. Uh, we went to some friends a few weeks ago, about six weeks, I'm guessing, for a pool party. I stupidly put my keys in the zipper pocket of my bathing suit when we got in the car because I had all this other stuff. And I said to myself when I got in the car, I'm probably going to forget my keys in my pocket. And lo and behold, I did. So I was in the pool for 30 minutes the first time. <laughs> of course, didn't realize I had my keys in there. Got back in the pool probably an hour later for another at least 45 minutes. And then that's when my hand brushed against my pocket. And I was like, oh, crap, my keys are in there. So I immediately took them out. Gave them to my wife. She went out and started the car and it started fine. And um, the key fob is still working perfectly. So thank you, Subaru, for waterproofing the key fobs. I don't know if you guys already knew that. You may have. I never really looked into the fact whether or not they were waterproof or not. But I can tell you that they will at least last for 30 minutes and then another 45 minutes in a pool. So I don't recommend doing it. But just so you know, they are somewhat waterproof. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about in this 7,000 mile update is if there's anyone kind of near Arizona or in Arizona that's interested in my stock 18 inch limited wheels and tires, send me an email and uh, we can talk about it because they're basically just sitting there and I, I don't think I'm going to use them all that often and I hate for them just to go to waste. Send me an email. I don't want to ship them, but if you're interested, hit me up on email and that'll be down below and we can talk about it. But really, that's about it for the, the 7,000 mile update. Not a whole lot to talk about, at least, but there is some stuff this time around. Um, like I said, overall, the car's still doing fantastic, and uh, I, I really have no complaints at all. Uh, I am still pushing to get that LP Adventure front lower bar and possibly a lift. I don't know that it's going to happen by the end of the year. I've, I've got, I want to build a shop here at the house, so... Kind of trying to save some money, but I'm hoping to get some more mods going for you guys and also some more um, off-road video coming up soon. So thanks guys for watching, supporting the channel, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.